มีดักแด้รถด่วนด้วงสาคูตะกะแตนแมงดาเขียดกระชอนจิ้งหรีดดำสดิ้งแมงดาจักรจันมีเยอะนะพี่หลายอย่างมียกตัวอย่างเช่นนะมีเดอร์ฮัสบี้และลูกสาวทีมขายเบงคอกพี่ชื่อเล่นชื่อใบเตยครับผมชื่อเล่นชื่อเล็กนะครับ The couple met six years ago when Batui was frequenting Lex Stall. They eventually were married, and she joined his business. Today, they sell a variety of deep-fried insects near k a o s a n Road, a popular tourist area. While their menu may vary, their process is the same. So let's start at the beginning, which is actually the end of the day. เลิกประมาณตีสองตีหนึ่งตีสองก็เก็บของแล้วก็เช็คดูว่าหลังจากเลิกขายมแมลงแล้วเราก็เลยไปตลาดไปซื้อมแมลงไปซื้อวัตถุดิบมาเตรียมไว้ตื่นประมาณเที่ยงไปเอาของออกจากตู้ตู้แช่ของวางไว้ข้างนอกเอาออกมาล้างให้เสด็จน้ําแล้วก็ทอดเปลี่ยนน้ำมันทุกวันครับรสชาติจะออกมาดีอีโมงครึ่งห้าโมงเราก็เดินทางไปขายค่ะ And if you think that all bugs taste the same, think again. ที่มาต้องกินก็มีตะกะเตนกับเมงปองช้างอันนี้กินดักแด้นี่กินแล้วมันจะออกนุ่มๆเหมือนเหมือนมีเหมือนกินไข่อ่ะตะกะเตนนี่จะออกกรอบๆเหมือนไก่อ่ะอย่างรสด่วนก็กินกินมันๆเหมือนเหมือนป๊อปคอร์นพี่ที่บ้านเราเลี้ยงนะจะมีดักแด้พวกจิ้งหรีดนี่เลี้ยงได้เมงดาเลี้ยงได้ส่วนเออบึ้งกับเมงป่องนี้มันอยู่ตามธรรมชาติเขาไปขุดเอาในป่าต้องสั่งพิเศษต่างหากพวกนี้ค่อนข้างแพง Eating bugs used to be associated with poverty in Thailand but that's not the case anymore and it's not just tourists who enjoy this novel treat มันเปลี่ยนไปนะสมัยนี้ความคิดเธอกินมันเป็นของกินเล่นไปแล้ววัยรุ่นส่วนมากก็จะกินกันนะลูกค้าประจำก็มีส่วนมากจะคนไทยอะค่ะคนไทยก็จะกินพวกตะกะเตนมแมลงตัวเล็กๆแบบนี้ But what Lek and Batui appreciate most is the support they provide for each other each and every day มันก็ท้าทายนะเวลาที่ออกไปขายของเรู้สึกท้าทายว่าเขาจะไปทุกวันเมื่อไหร่จะหยุดไม่มีวันหยุดรู้สึกยังไงกับสามีภรรยาทำงานด้วยกันสนุกนะช่วยกัน m o m i j i の天ぷらというのは伝統的なお菓子です。千三百年昔に遡りますけれども、お菓子になっているのは美濃だけでございます。名前は伊作に節子と申します。私はこの m o m i j i の天ぷらを作りかけて、まあ突いでまいりまして五十年になります。モミジの天ぷらというのは食べられるモミジっていうのは種類がありまして、赤い葉は全部ダメです。黄色くてというのは葉脈が柔らかいです。で、塩漬けにして保存しても色も色も変わらないです。まずはこの収穫時はこういう風な葉っぱ、それを一年中塩漬けにしておきまして、軸を切って。で揚げるときには塩を抜いてで衣を作ってそれで揚げるっていうのがモミジの天ぷらなんですけれど、あのモミジの天ぷらって時々生で食べさせてとおっしゃるけど全然味はいたしません。モミジの天ぷらのお味っていうのはお砂糖が入ってますから甘くなってます。手作りでしょ一枚ずつなんですよ。ちょっとかけたら綺麗に形を整えてあげるいうのが、それがまた揃える時の手間なんですよ。うちでまあ80年になりますけども、モビジの天ぷら作りね、楽しいっていうかこだわりをうちは持ってしてます。モビジの天ぷらを本当に全く知らないで来られるお客さんもたくさんいらっしゃいます。お客様が来られて美味しいって言ってもらう一声がすごい嬉しくて。When you think of snacks at a ball game, you think hot dogs, cracker jacks, peanuts, pretzels, and of course, grasshoppers. 
Okay, maybe you don't, but the Seattle Mariners and their fans sure do. So how did this crunchy critter get a spot next to your everyday concession snacks at Safeco Field? It all starts at this restaurant with this guy. My name's Manny Arce. I'm the executive chef here at Poquitos. The grasshoppers are grasshoppers. You know, they're a delicacy, but they're also a snack. I put them on the menu here as a novelty when we opened, and we kind of just, it's been on the menu for almost six and a half years. I'd describe them uh, crunchy like a sunflower seed, um, salty, a little bit spicy. Uh, every once in a while you get one that's a little squishier than you'd like. We just toast them and then we put salt and some lime and some chili on them, and that's about all we do to them. It's one thing to see restaurant success, but Manny's Grasshoppers became the highlight of going to Mariners games. When Mariners were seeing if we'd be a fit for them, I, I sent some out. The response was unreal, as in 300,000 plus Grasshoppers sold. We were selling out, you know, before the, even the first inning. And I started off with 50 pounds, thinking like, oh, this will last us, you know, a month or, or two, it lasted us one day. To date, we've probably gone through about a thousand pounds. People want more than you know, hot dogs and popcorn, and nobody else had been doing it at the stadium. So it's kind of one of these things that I think people just really latched onto, and the popularity far exceeded my expectations. The creation of the potato chip is a rather snarky, surprising, and idiosyncratic story. When french fries made their way to America, they soon became a restaurant mainstay. Many restaurants served fries as their signature dish. Believe it or not, they were once considered very hoity-toity. In 1853, George Crumb was a chef at the Moon's Lake House in Saratoga Springs, New York. Their signature dish was none other than Moon's Fried Potatoes, or as the aristocrats would say, potatoes served in the French manner. One day, just like any other, a customer some believe to have been Cornelius Vanderbilt himself ordered fries. Upon being served, Cornelius scoffed and sent them back. He deemed the fries soggy and not crispy enough. This insanity continued a few more times, until Crumb lost it. I mean, he really lost it. He fired back, cutting the potatoes paper thin and frying them up. You see, back in 1853, eating with your hands was a major faux pas, making Crumb's revenge even more diabolical. By cutting the potatoes paper thin, there would be no way that Cornelius could use his fork forcing him to use his hands. Crumb's plan backfired, kind of, as the patrons dug in with both hands and loved them. Saratoga chips were born. They became a Saratoga dining staple. Soon thereafter, they took the world by storm. Crumb himself even opened his own restaurant with baskets of chips displayed on each and every table. Most people think this fruit smells terrible. Mm. It's been described using words like rotting onions or raw sewage. Mm. Not this guy though. It's a very good smell to me. My name is Chang Tek Seng. They call me Duran Seng. I'm a farmer until now nearly 30 years selling durian. That's why they call me durian seng. If you're not that familiar with durian, it has a spiky rind and the inside is a yellow soft colored creamy fruit. It's native to Southeast Asia and because of its odor is actually banned from many public places. Durian is forbidden in airport, in hotel. Some places they put a sign age that no durian allowed. The smell, you can't hide. My record is about 100 feet. I can smell durian. Besides having a distinctive smell, durian also has a distinctive taste. It's like a peanut caramel. They have five uh, flavor, a uh, sweet flavor, alcohol flavor, bitter flavor, flower flavor, and num taste, total of five flavor. Num taste literally means your mouth will go numb. Wow, I can feel the numbness. Freshly dropped durian, the flavor is so good. Even the bees come to the durian. 
This may well be my new favorite fruit. People in general are divided on this fruit. Mm. Those who love it, love it. The durian is so tasty. Mm, it's really good. It tastes much better than it smells. If you really like durian, there can be like, some people may look like crazy, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, three meals are all durian. They can eat five, seven fruits per day. Uh, and there are others who just can't get past the smell. Mmm. That smells like day cheese. For durian saying, it is the perfect fruit. Either you like it or you hate it. Some people, they don't give chance to taste. But you've got to try once in your lifetime.